Blackline friends, I'm Ellie. For those of you that are new here, welcome. And for those of you coming back, thank you guys so much for sticking around. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Today we're doing a bunch of plant maintenance that I have been putting off for way too long. For one, I am going to kind of throw together a moss pole, which I've never done before. So I don't want to go too in depth with it in this video, just because like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of improvising because they didn't really have all of the materials that I needed at the store. And obviously with quarantine and everything, or not quarantine so much anymore because Florida doesn't seem to care about COVID. Um, that's not funny at all, actually. That's just my nervous laugh. But um, so anyway, they didn't have all of the supplies that I needed at the store. So I had to kind of improvise, but I, I went ahead and bought what they did have because this plant really, really needs a moss pole. The plant that I am planning on putting a moss pole on today is this beautiful Syngonium Albo that you guys saw me unbox a couple of months ago. I've had her for just over two months now, and she's put out a bunch of beautiful new growth for me. But I have noticed this new leaf right here that she's put out is definitely not as large as the other ones. And if I take her out of here, you'll see that she's definitely got some roots popping out through the bottom and she just really needs something because this whole branch right here is just kind of flopping over. And instead of having her trail, I wanted her to have a moss pole to climb on. And not only that, I'm also going to be transferring her to Lekka today. I have also like no Lekka experience. <laughs> the only Lekka experience I have actually, I'll show you guys really quick. So Adam here on YouTube and over on Instagram recently saw one of my posts in my stories about a few of my wish list plants and out of the kindness of his heart, he messaged me and let me know that he had a few of those and that he would be happy to send them my way. I was super excited about that. He's the one that really inspired me to try Lekka. I've watched some of his videos and I've seen how his plants have really thrived in Lekka and I figured I would give it a try. So when he sent me over those plants that I was telling you about, two of those were Hoyas, and I went ahead and put those in Lekka just maybe a week or so ago. I mean, I really have, like I said, like no Lekka experience. So I'll show you guys those two really quick. So the first one that he sent me is this really adorable Hoya Matilde, which obviously, like I told you guys, was on my wish list. And I went ahead and threw that in Lekka, and because I didn't have a catch pot to put it in right now, I just put it in Tupperware and some water in there. So that's the first one that I put in Lekka. And then the second one that he sent me is this beautiful sunrise cutting, which actually, when he sent it to me, I didn't have any Lekka to put these guys in. So this was just sitting in the sphagnum moss that he sent it to me in for a couple of weeks and it actually started growing roots. So I was excited to be able to transfer it into some Lekka and see how it does. This little cutting did lose one of the leaves that it had when it was coming to me, but it's got some new growth points already. So I'm excited about that one. And then hopefully I'll get some beautiful sun stress on it to get, you know, that sunrise coloring that we all love. So anyway, putting those two in Lekka is my first go at this at all. But there's also another plant that desperately needs my love and care and attention, and it is this adorable Hoya right here. What are, oh shoot, I don't remember, because you know, there's two forms of variegation on these. So there's the inside variegation and the outside one. And I think this one's called like Regalis or something. I might be completely wrong, but it's something with an R. But anyway, this Hoya, I just got this week. I got it on Monday, and it's from this nursery that I've never been to before. It's a little bit further south from me, but I went to it, and they had some great prices on these four-inch pot Hoyas. They had a good variety, actually, as well, some Hoyas that I haven't seen in nurseries around here. This was the single variegated Hoya rope. So I really wanted it. And then I noticed as I was kind of inspecting it, I mean, it's definitely a bit damaged. Let me kind of close up here so you guys can see it better. But it does have quite a bit of damage on it. 
So I thought there must be something going on with it. And as I was inspecting it, I did find a mealybug. But because it was the only one, and because it was for such a good price, this was only listed at $8.99, I just figured I would try to save it anyway. So when I took it up to the front, the girl at the register actually sprayed it down for me before leaving, and she gave it to me for five bucks. So I was excited about that. And it does have some new growth points, so I'm hoping that I can save this guy. Because when I did bring it home, I did notice more mealies on it. So... I sprayed it down again. Today's Thursday. Was it Monday that I went or maybe Tuesday? Because I remember I sprayed it down again yesterday. And then today I haven't really inspected it too much. But I'm going to go ahead and take it out of here. Really get in here and spray everything down. All the crevices. And then I'm going to transfer it into Leca. And hopefully this guy makes it. So with that whole spiel out of the way, I'll probably just kind of fast forward through this part because like I said, I've never done this before. I just went ahead and got a PVC pipe because it's all they had available. I have some rope here that I'm going to use to hopefully tie the sphagnum moss around the pole. And hopefully I don't make too much of a mess and hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> so I'm going to tie this around. I'm going to kind of tie the string where I'm going to start the hog. I'm going to need scissors. You what? Call me thrifty. Thrifty. I didn't go to the thrift, so I can't call you thrifty, Jose. All right. So I really have no idea what I'm doing, guys. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to tie the string to the bottom of it. So that way, when I start putting that on, I can just start wrapping around. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my head. So I'm hoping that it makes sense when I start doing it. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to not make a huge mess. That's like my one goal. <laughs> I really had no idea how much moss I would possibly need for this, so I kind of just put some in this bowl and went with it. Now I'm like, how do I practice? You know, we're learning as we go, guys. Huge. <laughs> 
There's got to be an easier way to do this, huh, guys? <laughs> Someone teach me your ways. the syngonium first so that way if this kind of like gets bugs everywhere I don't get them on the syngonium. <laughs> been holding it up by putting a 10 pound weight next to it to prop it up so it doesn't fall over. I know it's terrible. But now I'm actually going to put it on its side so that we can get it out of here. So popping out here. She's been super thirsty because obviously she needs to be home. Oh my gosh, there's some awesome roots in here. Those. I don't want to disturb this. Ooh. I this, should I rinse these off? Probably before we put it in the lava. Okay, so I'm gonna take all of this off the roots and then I'll be right back. All right guys, I have rinsed off as much of the soil as I can safely without interrupting the roots here. There's a really good root system on this guy. There is definitely some soil still on there, but it is what it is. I can't really get it off without like hurting the roots and I don't want to do that. So I'm hoping that this is okay. <laughs> if I'm doing something terribly wrong, again, you guys always let me know because I don't want to kill my plants and I especially don't want to kill this plant. It's one of my favorites. So if there's anything I need to fix, please let me know. <laughs> I'll try to edit this video as quickly as possible. So I have, I'm gonna just use this nursery pot here, and then I'm gonna use this pot, which does not have a hole in it, to put it into. So with LECA, you're basically doing, what is it called? It's called semi-hydro. So you're not using any soil. We are going to be using the LECA balls in place of soil. So what I'm gonna do is, Kind of the same though as far as potting up. I'm going to kind of fill the bottom third and then put my plant in while holding this in there. It should be fun. I might need Joey to help me. <laughs> so I did pre-rinse these Lego balls because they do come like super dirty. 
My concern is like this moss pole taking up too much room for from the for the plants in here for the roots. Let's see. I'm so concerned about hurting this plant. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. And then we're gonna attach you to here. All right. And man, I didn't realize this was this tall already. Like this is already as tall as this pole. Is that messed up? I hope this stays up in here. There's so many concerns. This is staying up pretty well. I think I can do it without you because it's staying up pretty well already. Look out. Does it look good? Um, does it look good? I'm like way excited about this now that I actually have it in there. <laughs> I was worried about it. I should probably just make this all one picture, to be honest, because it's probably going to be long. And I just like how this looks too, compared to the soil. I don't know, it looks cool with the balls in here. <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god. See, see, it spoke too soon, it spoke too soon, got too excited. Now the moss pole's going to fall over. Also losing one of the leaves. That one in the very front, as you guys can see, is like dying off. I'm filling it up so there's some water in there that it can soak up. And now we're going to move on to this guy. The thing about this guy is that, like I told you guys, I'm pretty sure it has quite the mealy bug infestation. I should put my gloves on because this is probably going to gross me out. I'm not going to lie. And my gloves are outside. Oh, I have reusable or disposable gloves. I got some gloves. I should also probably pick up my hair for this, but. Too late now. Okay, I also have some insecticidal soap, which we're going to be spraying this guy down with once I get all the soil off of it. It has a lot of roots. See right there. Yeah, that's gross. Damn you, mealy bugs. Ah, there they are. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> this is gross. I just don't know how much of um, the soil I'm really going to be able to get off because, oh, there they are. Oof, there they are. I don't know if I should honestly, like, would you guys just rip off the roots and, like, reroot this thing? Okay, we're going to go rinse off the roots underwater. See what we end up with. So I rinsed off as much of the soil as I possibly could on these pieces but there is a lot of orchid bark in here so I picked off as much as I could but there's just some that I'm not going to be able to get off. I've already disturbed these roots a lot and washed off a lot of mealy bugs and now I'm going to oh there's another one right there. There's just all these little crevices on this guy. I am going to put it back in its nursery pot, but I did disinfect this just in case. I'm going to spray this whole thing down again. And I like being really liberal with this stuff. <laughs> I'm going to rinse this off one more time. All right. We're going to get this guy in here. Already put some Leca in there. All right, friends, I got all the mealybugs that I could see on this guy off of here. They have transferred him over into Lekka. I don't have a pot for him right now, so he's going in Tupperware, We're giving him some water, and we are hoping for the best for this guy. All right, we're all done for today. 
I did have to uh, charge my battery before closing out this video because of course, right as I was finishing up potting this guy, my battery died, my car was full, all that good stuff had to happen. So thanks for joining me today in repotting these two beauties and making this my very first lopsided moss pole. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.